In this video, we want to talk about how to convert PDF files into images. But maybe you ask, why do we need to do it ourselves? Because it's very safe. No one else, no other website is going to convert your PDF file into images. The first step is to install a package called PDF to image. So first of all, I should open the terminal and then I should simply type pip install PDF to image and I should press enter and remember that you should have internet connection and now I should wait for the installation process and also you should download another thing called poplar which if you look at the official website you can see that it says that you should download something called poplar from here if you are a windows user you should click on this which the link of that is in the description below and you should download the latest version. Now the latest version is this. I should click on it and I should download this zip file. And here we can see here is the file that I have downloaded. So I right click on it and I should extract the file. And I should open the folder and I should go to the library folder and then bin folder and I should copy this path. And then I go to the PyCharm and I should simply type poplar path and I should pass the poplar path but maybe you ask why we are putting this R before the path of the file because if you don't put this R before the path you have two choices the first choice is to replace all backslashes with slash with, with forward slash or you can replace each backslash with two backslashes So now it's obvious that putting an R before the path is a simpler method. And this R means raw text. It means that consider this path as it is. Also, I have a PDF file, which you can see here, which it has three pages. This is page one, page two, and page three. So I need the path of this file. So I right click on it. I go to properties, then security. And you can see here is the path of the file. So I should copy this path and I should go to Python. And I simply type PDF, .path, PDF path and I should pass the path of the PDF file. And now it's time to import the package. So I simply type from PDF to image package. I should import convert from path, convert from path function, which is a function that takes the path of the PDF file and converts it to the images. Now I should simply type convert from path and I should provide the PDF path which is in a variable called PDF path and the poplar path is poplar path variable. And then we store the results in a variable, let's say called pages. And suppose that I want to save the images in this folder. So I copy this path and here I define a variable, let's say called saving folder and I pass the path of that folder. Then we want to save each page in this pages variable. So I should use a for loop. So I simply type for page in pages and I want to save each page and I define a counter variable and the initial value is one because we are going to save the first image, then the second image and etc. And we define another variable called image name, which is the name of our image. For example, it is going to be image dash and the counter, I mean the first time image one, the second time image two, the third time image three, and the extension is JPEG. But also I want to join this saving folder with this image name. So I use a package called OS operating system. I should import OS and then I simply type os.path.join and I want to join the saving folder and the image name and I should cut this path and I use page.save because I want to save each page and this is the path, this is the absolute path of that page, the, I mean the saving directory and the format is going to be JPEG and after saving each page, the counter is going to be incremented by one. So I simply type C plus equal one and if I run a code, you can see the process has been finished successfully. And if I go to that folder, you can see here are the images. And now you may ask a couple of questions. The first question is, can we save the images as PNG? Of course you can. You should simply replace this with PNG. And here you should simply type PNG. And if I run the code, 
and if I go to the folder, you can see here are the PNG files which we have saved. And also you may ask, does this one should be uppercase or it can be lowercase as well? The answer is it can be a lowercase as well. So for example, here let's type PNG and let's delete all these images. And if I go to the PyCharm and if I run the code, and if I go to the folder again, you can see now the file has been saved. And also let's, let's check it for the JPG format. And let's change this with JPG. And if I run the code, and then if I go to the folder, you can see now the JPEG file has been also saved.